and Trojans. Today's October 12th and it's an A Day. I'm Sydney Doyle. And I'm Chase Songer. On today's program, we'll hear from Max Bloom with a story about inspiration and from Link Crew about our October freshman birthdays. But first, the news. Welcome to Trojan Broadcast News. In local news, the Petaluma River will be dredged this month. The D Street Bridge will be closed until October 13th. In addition, for those of you that traveled the Schollenberger Trail, we are sorry to inform you that it will be closed until November 1st. A warning to all the neighboring areas. The dredging is not a quiet task. It will be loud. Nonetheless, we are finally getting a clean, healthy river. So no more three-eyed fish. Get excited, guys. In national news, the story was that the Supreme Court refused to take the case of Kim Davis the Kentucky County clerk who refused to issue marriage licenses for same-sex couples. Two justices, Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, used this opportunity to signal their displeasure with the court's 2015 decision on same-sex marriage. Supporters of same-sex marriage are concerned because they fear a conservative court may overturn the protections that allow the same-sex marriage. And finally, in international news, for those of you that enjoy the lovely summer treat known as ice cream, you'll be excited to know that an Italian man named Dimitri Pensiera broke the Guinness World Record for the most ice cream scoops upon a single cone. In 2013, he originally held the title with 85 scoops. Later, Austria Foreman captured the title with a whopping 123 scoops. Pensiera rose back to the top while filming a Guinness TV special in Italy, La Notte de Record, when he stacked 125 scoops of ice cream upon a single cone. Wow, now that would give me a stomach ache. More information about these stories can be found in this video's description. And now this week's first announcement is from Miss Cooper in the College and Career Center. Seniors, this week we have college representatives coming to meet with students virtually from the following schools. UC Davis, Washington State, University of Oregon, Penn State, University of Portland, University of Redlands, Oregon State University. Dates, times, and registration can be found on the College Career Center's webpage or email Ms. Cooper for more information. And be sure to check the website as new schools are added regularly. Our next announcement is for you Halloween lovers out there. ASB and Link Crew are hosting a costume contest with prizes for the most creative, most recognizable, and most crazy costume. Stay tuned for more details. But if you can't wait, reach out to someone in ASB or Link Crew for more information. Stay spooky, Trojans. And that's it for our announcements this week. Now here's Max Bloom with a story about how people can inspire Hello, you. Hello, Trojans. Today, I'm going to be talking about a very important subject. That is inspiration. Who inspires you? Well, the person who inspires me is a very important person who has accomplished many amazing things. This is none other than Albert Einstein. This man has always inspired me, and I think there are many valuable things we can learn from him. Let's take a look into his life and his career. Albert was born in the town of Ulm, Germany in March of 1879. As a child, he struggled with a disability that made it hard for him to learn. He dropped out of high school at age 15 and failed the first exam to go to college. Once in college, he struggled and barely graduated. However, he overcame these struggles and ended up becoming one of the greatest scientists of all time. He published countless groundbreaking papers and thought of many new scientific theories and laws. In 1921, he won the Nobel Prize for Physics. We can learn a lot from Einstein's life. He shows us the importance of being resilient, working hard, and not giving up. These are very important life lessons and values that Albert Einstein taught us. This is why he inspires me and why I look up to his teachings and principles. Your inspiration may be a family member, a friend, or a celebrity. Who is it? For TBC News, I'm Max Bloom. Thanks, Max, for that super inspirational segment. If there's someone who inspires you, let them know. Our final piece for today is from Link Crew, celebrating our newest Trojans' October birthdays. Hi guys, Link Crew and I just want to wish all of our freshmen with October birthdays a very happy birthday, 
if you just recently celebrated, happy belated birthday, and we hope your day was amazing. And if you're about to celebrate, happy birthday. Hope you guys have a great day. And we hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy with everything that's going on right now. We want to wish all our freshmen a happy birthday from the TBC crew. That's it for this week's program. Stay safe out there, Trojans. This is Trojan Broadcast Channel, and make it a great day.